cable dielectric losses. We have a power cable here. The rated voltage is 132 kilovolts. The frequency is 50 hertz. The power cable is used to transmit electrical power from the power plant to the load. Even if the load is disconnected and there is no current in the conductor, there are still losses in the cable, the dielectric losses in the insulation. Our task is to calculate the dielectric losses in this cable. We know the relative electric primitivity of the dielectric, which is 2.5, and we know the loss tangent, which is 0 0.001. In fact, there is no way to specify the loss tangent in material properties in quick field. Instead, I am going to specify the apparent value of electrical conductivity. And this way I am going to calculate the losses. Okay, let's start quick field now. In quick field, I create new problem. Cable. Next. Problem type is AC conduction. Every simulated device is a three-dimensional object. I'm going to simulate only a single cross-section, so the model class is plane parallel. Frequency is 50 Hz. Cable length is 1 km. And the length units are millimeters. Finish. On the left is the problem pane. And here is the geometry model editor window. I should draw the cross section here. First, I'm going to insert a circle with a diameter of 26 millimeters. This is the conductor. And then I will insert another circle with the diameter 66.7 millimeters. This is the insulation. And now let's assign labels. Through labels, I will explain the geometric object's meaning and assign the physical properties. Switch to select objects mode. Click the object select and type in the label name here. This is dielectric. Okay, there is no need to assign label to conductor because there is no electric field inside the conductor. Instead, I'm going to assign label to the conductor surface. Hold the control button pressed to select multiple objects at the same time. And for these edges, I assign label high voltage. And this would be the screen. Okay, now let's provide physical properties for these labels. Double click the label name in the tree. Conductor potential is 132 kilovolts. In fact, this is the root mean square value. Here in quick field, I should specify the magnitude. For the sinusoidal weight, the magnitude is times square root of 2 of the root mean square value. OK. The screen is grounded, zero electric potential. For the dielectric, I specify the electric primitivity of 2.5 and the apparent value of electrical conductivity that will allow me to calculate the losses in the dielectric. 6.95 pico siemens per meter. Pico means times 10 to the power of minus 12. OK. Geometry model and the data are ready. Before I start the analysis, I should build the finite element mesh. Just press this button and the mesh will be generated. Now save all problem files and solve the problem. Let's take a look at the results. Here you can see the electric stress color map and the equipotential lines. 
let's adjust the field picture. I will switch on the color map of LFA potential. Now you see indeed the screen is grounded, it has zero electric potential, and the conductor electric potential is 132 kilovolts. Now I need to calculate the capacitance. The capacitance is the ratio of the charge accumulated by the conductor to the potential difference. To calculate the charge, I'm going to use the contour tool. I will build the contour here. Let me adjust the field picture. I will switch off the color map so you can see the contour better. That's the contour. Contour close. Now I can calculate the charge. If I divide the charge by the potential difference, divide by the 132 kilovolts and divide by the square root of 2. This is the capacitance per one kilometer of the cable length. Now let's calculate the losses. Again, I'm going to use the contact tool, but this time I will select the insulation. Click to select, follow to the integrals, and this is the active power produced in the volume. Again, this value is calculated for the one kilometer of the cable length. And you can adjust the field picture and see distribution of the power. Contour clear. You see more power are generated here close to the conductor surface. Again, I can use the contour tool and draw the contour line from the center outside and get the power density distribution along the contour line in the XY plot. This is the active power distribution in the cable insulation. If you search for the cable dielectric loss on our website, you will find the example page. Here you can read about problem setup browse the solution section, take a look at the resulting pictures and download the simulation files. Simulation files may be opened and the results may be viewed using any Quickfield edition, including Quickfield Student Edition, that you can download from our website for free.